Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding friendly movies streamed last month and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called TV program with three different columns, program date, content ID, channel. The combined column program date and content ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information of the programs on the TV. Content ID is the ID of the program in some channel on the TV. Okay. We are also given a second table called content with four different columns, content ID, title, kids content, content type. Content ID is the primary key for this table. Kids content is an enum that takes values, yes or no, right? Y means the content is for kids and N means the content is not for kids. The content type is the category of the content such as movies, series, etc. Now we are asked to write a SQL query to report the distinct titles of the kid friendly movies streamed in June of 2020. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have several TV programs, right? And these are the content tribe ID and these are the channels they were streamed on. So, and also these are the information about the different content right so content id title kids content yes or no whether it was a movie series etc right so we need to find in june of 2020 what all kids content were telecasted right so in june of 2020 we have two contents right uh content id one and four right on lc channel and disney channel okay now one and four if you look at it right lead code movie and aladdin lead code movie is not a kid's content right but aladdin is and it is a movie right so it means that in june of 2020 only aladdin is the name of the title of the movie which is kids friendly as well that was telecasted in june of 2020 and that is what we return right so if you see here the first thing that we need to do is since we need to you know use information from these two tables to basically reach our output for first thing that we can do is we can join these two tables and then apply the different conditions that we are given here right okay so let's start with it so from this table called tv program right alias as t let's left join the content table alias as c on t dot content id is equal to c dot content id okay so what will this do basically it will say okay cursor is here right content id one it will find a match and it will populate okay so the title of the content is this the, is it a kid's content is it like what is the type of the content etc so you will have several other columns right now what we need we only need to look for june of 2020 right but this is a timestamp right so we need to convert this or format this date into a sequence where we are comfortable with right so basically what this question demands so what we write is where the first thing that is it should be formatted in a way so that you know we can identify okay it does not matter the day we just need the year and the month part right so we can use the date format function so date format which column we want the we want to format the date for so that is program date and what is the format we need year dash month right so we write percentage capital y for year dash and percentage small m for month and what this should be this should be june of 2020 right so that is what the question says june of 2020 so this should be equal to 2020 dash 06 so now we have restricted this to only june of 2020 now the second thing that we need to do is is it a print kid friendly and thirdly is it a movie right so the kids content part is in the content table right and this program date was basically in this tv program right so instead of program date like just for the continuity we can write t dot program that and then and the kids content column right so kids content column is in content table right so c dot kids content is equal to 
capital Y, right? Because we need the kids content only. And we also need to make sure that it is a movie, right? So and C dot content type is equal to movies. Okay. Now, based on all this condition, what we need to return distinct titles, right? Distinct title of these kid friendly movies streamed in June of 2020. So we return distinct, right? Titles and titles is in which table content table, right? So we write C dot title. Okay. And since we don't need to order by anything, this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. And yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All you had to do was, you know, since the information is in two different tables, we need to join this because we need to perform filtering based on columns that are in both of these tables. So that is why we performed a join and then we made sure that you know the format of the date is in a way that we can compare it with june of 2020 then we also made sure that the con kids content should be yes and the content type should be movies and when all these conditions are satisfied you return the distinct titles right and yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video